What we're going to do next is we're going to look at how you assign textures to specific faces. So at the moment, we've just been assigning textures to uh, shapes as a whole. So it assigns it to all the faces at once. But you may need to just assign to specific faces sometimes, as we need to do. If we're going to texture the floor, we're going to have to have just that one face done. We don't want to texture the walls with the same texture. So in order to do that, we shall be creating a new material. So I'm going to clear my graph. I don't want my floor to be reflective, so I'm going to have a new Lambert. I'm going to name that Floor M. And I'm going to, in the same way that we've just done for the crate, I'm going to click on this checker pattern uh, button. I'm going to choose File. And then for the image name, I'm going to choose Floor Diffuse. There it is. So it's just a kind of metallic panel looking thing. I'm going to click on open there. And then it's all about how we apply this. Okay, so we need to put this into um, face selection mode. Now, we could complicate things by going back into the modeling toolkit for this, but there is an easy enough way to do it. If we just right click and hold on it, you'll see that a context menu pops up and we can put it into face mode from here. And then I'm going to choose this face, which just represents the floor. And I can now find the floor material, right click and choose assign material to selection. And then when I deselect, you should be able to see, put it back into object mode, that that is now assigned to the floor. I'm going to turn off the grid just so you can see it a little bit better. And there you go. So that is how you assign uh, a texture to just one face. Or um, I could have selected two faces or 12 faces and assigned it to just those. So it's about assigning to specific faces really.